We got some snow. So, we were down there at the BMW. Work called us. Well, actually, I went into work, got there, and they sent us home about two hours later. So, we're going to take advantage of it. I think Chad Allen's on this way here. We gotta do a little bit of work to his Jeep, but Teresa and I've got the garage open. Make sure everything's tied on it. I need to wash this from the last ride. We're gonna break the snow off this old girl. I mean, look. Look at that. It's got a good little mound right on the tire. We're gonna try to get some of the snow off. Get this thing started up. And, uh, start defrosting. Wife is getting the kids ready. We're gonna go ride for a little while. Hopefully get y'all some pretty fun videos for today. So I'm attempting to drive and do this. I got the kids in the back. Say hi, kids. Cheese, hi. <laughs> he said cheese. You see the camera live. But, let me give you what we're messing with here. You got a good about, I don't know, probably five inches of snow. So, uh, Chad Allen's behind us. We're supposed to be meeting Kobe back here. And, uh, it should be a good time. This is, uh, this is prime right here. Huh? Right. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, we'll get some RPM live. Rolling coal, in the words of Chad Allen back there. Maybe he gets a video of that. There's a wee bit of snow. There's the, the wannabe diesel in life. Probably the most expensive build we got. Part, part for part. Uh, I don't know. Man. It, it's close between that one and this one. I'm talking about just part for part, not over on Jeep and everything. Like, if you bought every one of these parts from the. This is definitely Oh, I know. Like, you got incredible Facebook Marketplace deals, but, you know. My front end, I've probably got $1,000 in it, swapping it over everything. Chad Allen's got that and the uh, Reed Knuckles, the Chromoly Axles, and the uh, the brand new Detroit, the the Barnes tie rod in uh, steering high steer. Yeah. That's not including the truss and everything else that's in there. Mine's a 60. And it'll still break before that 44 wheel. Guaranteed. Here, we see the Dixie in her natural habitat. On the phone. So, as you can tell, I'm probably videoing. I didn't tell you this earlier, but Cassie's actually driving the Jeep for us today. So, we put her in the absolute best conditions you can imagine in the snow. Let's see what she's got.
majority of these big rocks, as you can see here, I'm trying to get up here where I can video for y'all. It's wet and it's cold. to it yet. See what line she chooses. See what she does. Good idea. Good idea. Oh, 
perfect right there. Good line, bro.
so it's not often you get a good snow wheeling trip in in Tennessee, but when you get the opportunity, you jump on it. Got down to work, I was only there for about an hour and a half. They sent everybody home, so we started rolling in here. Text Chad Allen, like, hey, you get sent home, what about you? It's like, I ain't going into work either, let's go ride. And here we are, but man, it's 100% worth it. We ain't seen a soul down here with us. But I want y'all to look how beautiful this is. Let it focus in here. Oh, there I am. So I bet every bit, you're looking at my feet marks, I'm sure the camera ain't gonna show them, but walking down through here, it's over my ankles coming through. So we're, we're a good, probably four or five inches of snow down here. I'm excited to once we get back home on top of the mountain, how much is up there. There's about three, three and a half inches of snow whenever we left. Man, between two and three o'clock, even down here, like it was coming down. Like you wouldn't believe. This, 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 this. Not often I get a I get a picture of this old girl in the snow. She's a little dirty though. She's a little dirty. That's all right. Dirty life. Dirty life in Patagonia's. Man, they're the 37 inch uh, black labels. I ordered them, what, two years ago now? And uh, been pretty impressed with them so far. Um, they, they done really good today in the snow. Um, they're, uh, I have ripped the sidewall out of the driver's side one. You know, you always hear horror stories of, oh, the sidewalls, sidewalls. I've done it in that one one time, and I was running about five pounds of air. Since then, talked to some people, and they, Recommend me staying above 10 pounds on the front tires. Uh, just for that's your steer tires. And since I ain't had an issue since, and they've been beat on pretty hard, so I'm not going to complain.